everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to make some coils. We're going to make some stainless steel 24 gauge twisted wire coils for our RDA. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today we're going to be making a 20, we're going to be making twisted coils. And what we're going to be using is the 24 gauge stainless steel wire. And I'm going to cut two of them about maybe about a foot long so you will need some cutters and you'll need some ceramic tweezers so that we can you know get them installed and make sure that they're firing correctly you will need a pair of pliers um a screwdriver something small um and then of course um your rda and you know uh, get that ready and of course your cotton for your wicks and things like that But for the main part that we're going to be needing is we're going to need some pliers And we're going to need a drill and we're going to need some wire and the cutters to cut the wires So let's start with that part So what I'm going to do is don't worry about if it's a little wrinkly. That's fine because we're going to straighten it out So I'm going to take out about a foot Maybe a little bit longer And I'm going to just cut a piece here and I'm gonna do it again. It doesn't have to be even as long as we have enough um, to make two coils, because that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna cut that piece. I've got two two pieces of wire here. I'm just gonna secure this so it doesn't get all loose and everything. And I'm gonna set this aside. And then what we're gonna do first is we're gonna straighten out the wire. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit more of this one because it's like really, really long. So I'm gonna make them almost even. So, there we go. It's kind of difficult in the camera, but I can do it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the first piece of wire and I'm gonna actually put it in my drill and I'm gonna center it right in the middle. Just center it, open it up. Center it in the middle, push it in. Okay, I'm gonna close it down. Excuse my hand, I gotta get it tight. And it doesn't matter if you're going forward or backwards for this. And I'm gonna take the other end and I'm gonna hold it away from the drill. You're not gonna be able to see it in camera, but I'm holding it tight and I'm just gonna run the drill. What this does is it straightens out your wire. So now my wire is straight. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. So I'm just gonna loosen this, put it down, take my other one so it doesn't have the kink in it. I'm gonna put it in my drill bit. And this is like the easiest, when you get tired of making just round wire coils, this is like the easiest thing to do. And it's still a little bit fancy. You can consider yourself making fancy coils. Because once you start doing stuff like this, then you can do anything. So we're just gonna straighten this. I'm pulling it flush on again on the other side. Just a couple times with the drill and it's straight. See, I let go and there we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that piece out. Now, what we're gonna do to make the coils is I'm actually gonna fold it in half because we're gonna make two coils. So this will be the first one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half. I'm not gonna make it perfectly folded yet. I'm gonna grab my ends and I'm gonna take my little screwdriver and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it down to the end. I'm making it like the end part. So I know exactly where it's gonna fold and it's even in the middle. I'm just gonna take that, squeeze it together a little bit and then I'm going to take, I kind of made it a little bit uneven. Hold on. It's a lot easier when you're not on camera. I'll go take it around a little bit. Okay. Well, I'll just cut off the other end to make it even. Just took it out of the screwdriver. I'm just going to cut the end. I just want to make it even a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this end is I'm gonna stick it in my drill. I'm gonna make sure that they're together. Stick it in my drill. Right in the center, it has to be centered. 
going to put it in there, tighten it up. You want to make sure that they are centered. I know that you can't really see this, but you just want it centered. You want it to look like if it's one coming out of it. Can you see it? Okay. And do that. Make sure that it's there and then tighten it up. And this is the easiest part. I'm going to put my screwdriver back in. Doesn't matter if it's twisted up a little bit. That's perfectly fine. And I'm just going to start twisting it now. Just go slow and twist. You see how it's twisting? There you go. That's it. That's, that's all you need to do. Now all we need to do is do the second one. So we're going to loosen this one. Twisting it out. Take that out of my screwdriver. And I use a screwdriver because it's easy to get loose. And I have enough for one coil there. Take that out. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and bend it. Try to keep the ends even. Get my screwdriver to try to stretch it out. Just to give it that little bend. And I'm going to take the ends and I'm going to stick it back in my screwdriver. I mean in my <laughs> in my drill. In my screwdriver. I'm going to stick it in my screwdriver. Okay, and I'm just going to put that in there. Make sure that they're centered. It's in the middle of the drill. Tighten it up. Put my screwdriver through the end. And just turn. Oops, that one got loose. Hold on. All I need to do is just put it back in. Take that end, take this end. Put them back in there. Straighten that out. Of course, it's going to do this while I'm on camera. If I wasn't on camera, I wouldn't do this. So I'm going to put them back together. And I want to stick them back in my drill. Make sure it's really, really tight. Sorry, you couldn't see my hand was in the way. Okay, go back with your screwdriver. Try to straighten it out some, because it did move. That's okay. There we go, and then just twist. And I'm not pulling, I'm just twisting. And we want them to look about the same. go and that one's done so now we've just made two coils take that end back out of the we're gonna be getting rid of that end anyway so now I can move my drill and now we've got two coils you see it and there we go now we've got two twisted wire coils so all we need to do now is just go ahead and wrap them around a bit and make some coils and put it on here. So I already have an RDA ready, so I'm just gonna unscrew the other four. And if you're just doing a single coil, you only need to make one coil. You don't have to make the second. And, oops, let me tighten my RDA on here. Might help. Let me put that on my... Okay, now that's on there. Take that one off, loosen it up. Okay, now we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it. And I'm gonna do six wraps. Now to hold it, being that the end is like this, you can do one of two things. If you have one of these, you can put it in the hole if it'll fit as long as your wire is not too thick. Mine's a 24 gauge, so it's not too thick. And oops, let me stay in camera. Let me actually bend this down a little bit so you can see. There we go. That makes it a little bit easier. You put it through here. This is to hold it down. And then you just start twisting. You want to keep them as close together as possible. So that's one, two, three, four, 
five, and six. Now, it is gonna be a little bit springy, so I just wanna let you know that right away. It is gonna be a little springy. And then you put it together, and there's your twisty coil. So we're gonna take the other end out, turn it around, just so I can fix up that little leg right there and bend that back. And there we go. We've got the twisted wire. Like I said, it's a little springy, so I'm just trying to bring this over a little bit. There we go, so they're about even. So now what we can do is take our little handy dandy clippers, and I'm gonna clip this side and keep one side longer. Oop, all gone. And then you can put it in your RDA. So here we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in here. One in there, one in there, and it fits perfectly fine. And then screw those down. Try to keep my hand out of the way. Screw it down. Do the other one. Right on my leg. Good, good, good. And that one's tight. Just even it out a little bit so it's straight and take it out and there's one coil right there so we'll go ahead and just cut the leads and then we'll start on the other one okay now what I do what I like to do because the other coils are gonna go in here and they're probably gonna hit here is I'm gonna center this a little bit just a little bit I'm gonna push it over just so that the end one will get in okay. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and wrap the second one. Once again, I'm just gonna put the end in here. I'm gonna do six wraps. Got the end in, just enough to hold it down. I'm gonna start wrapping six wraps. So bringing them close together. One, two, three, Oops. Three. Oh, now this one wants to get four, five, and six. And then I'll just push them back over there like that. There we go. Once they're heated up, they'll straighten out as well. So there we go. We've got another six wraps i'm just going to pull this out and straighten up that other leg like we did the last one straighten that out get my rda again and let's put it in this one so we're going to go here oh it's actually going to be in the way over there gauging the wrong one we're going to push this over just a little bit more oops so we can get into that hole there we go Cut off the end here so that one is longer than the other and makes it easier when you're trying to put them in. And I'm going to put one in this hole. It's coming out the side of it and then one in this hole. Make sure that's outside of it. Push them in. My nails in the way I know so I'm gonna have to go like this so that you can see just making sure that this is not in the way it's actually underneath it I want to pull that one out a little bit more let's try it again this time I'm gonna try to face it up and over this coil there we go and then this one in this side okay that's a little bit better because it's on top now okay I got that one in just pull it out and get some pliers for this when you have nails I'm just gonna pull this leg out make it tight make it tight and then we're gonna screw those down so not 
trying to get my hand in the way, but. Let's wear that one down. And then I'm gonna cut those leads. Please be careful that you don't cut the one next to the coil. I'm trying to keep it in focus so that you can see without like cutting myself at the same time. <laughs> This one here. It's right there. I'm trying to get it over. I need to make sure that I don't cut that. Can you see it? Because I'm trying to do it while on camera where I can see it. There we go. Okay, so now we can straighten up the other coil to the middle. Just stick your screwdriver in it and scoot it over. And maneuver it like that. And there we go. We've got two twisted coils. And all I need to do is just squeeze these together. And as we're pulsing them and firing them, They'll be getting better as well. So let's turn this down. All right, we're on 24 and let's start heating up our coils. And strum them. And they're starting to heat up nicely. them and pulsing them concentrate on this one a little bit more They're looking nice. Just gonna lift this one up just a little bit, make it a little bit more even. There we go. Straighten that one up a little bit. This one down just a little bit. Make sure that they're all tight. Okay, and let's pulse again. You have to sometimes be a little bit patient, especially when you're making different coils and just regular round wire. It does take sometimes a little bit for them to heat up. There we go. We're starting to fire nice. Okay. Okay, so they're now firing nicely. That's perfect. Yay. And they're coming out at a 0.12. And that's awesome. So all we need to do is just let them cool down. We'll go ahead and wick them and then we'll vape on them. Okay, so now for the cotton, I am going to be using my Native Wicks Imperial Blend. I've already cut some off of here. So I'm just going to take a little piece off. There we go. And I'm trying to keep it in focus, and I'm just going to cut this in half. And I did use a 3 millimeter bit for my coils. I do like that. That's my, my go-to <laughs> of um, diameters. So, yeah. And just put it through, just like you would any other RDA. There we go. And do the other side. Oh, I can't wait. Twisted coils made myself. So this is something that you all can make at home. Um, you don't even have to, all you need is some 24 gauge stainless steel or any kind of, you can use Canthal, stainless steel, any type of whatever your favorite um, 
coil is. Mine is stainless. That's just my favorite. That's my preference. Um, not everybody's the same, but there we go. We've got those in there, and I'm just going to cut them down. And I like to fluff my cotton up before I put it in. Not everybody does that, but I do. I'm just going to fluff them out. Take out any knots or anything that's in it. And to me, to me, my personal opinion is that it wicks, it wicks faster. But again, that's just my opinion. That's my preference. So to the side, I'm holding the other end of the um, leg of the cotton because otherwise sometimes it will go and just pull right out. So I'm just doing that and then I'll just do the norm and fold them under. Tuck them in, make sure that your airflow is open. Tuck it under, airflow is open. There we go, tuck them under. And I think this one's just a little bit long. And tuck it under. There we go. I don't like to stuff, stuff, stuff mine because then I feel like you can't get um, as many hits on your juice if you stuff it too much. But yep. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and juice her up. And this is the Kraken White Grape and Citrus. This is made by Clockworks and it's sold at VaporizeNomads.com. And let's go ahead and whip this bad boy up. Hey, if you've ever seen any of my videos, you know that I like to pulse my coils when I'm putting the juice on to make sure that the juice actually gets into the coil and into the cotton that's in the coil. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just lightly putting some on and I'm pulsing them until it actually like evaporates. And I do that a few times just to make sure that it's getting inside and then out. And then I'll just go ahead and wet my wicks. And this smells so good. This white grape citrus is freaking amazing. I love the flavor of it. Like, I, it tastes just like a white grape juice. <laughs> it's so good. I got that nice and wet. And it's time to go up top and have a vape. So, I'll see you on top. Okay, so here we are back on top. Gonna take a vape and then we're all done. Very cloudy coils. So, if you like my review, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or anything, leave it in the comments below. Um, and I'll respond to them. And if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to see more, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to turn on your notifications so that that way you know when I've got another video coming out. And until next time... Bye.